Welcome to Create Your First Activity on Seesaw. This training is designed for teachers who are already set up with an account and class in Seesaw. Be sure to have another device or window ready to follow along with the steps. By the end of this training, you'll be able to navigate the activity library, create activities of your own, know what students experience, and keep activities organized. Seesaw activities allow you to create and share learning experiences that students can complete right in Seesaw. With Seesaw activities, you can share directions, multimedia examples, and templates for students to respond on. You'll also be able to add teacher notes, tag the activity to folders and skills, and share the activity with colleagues. That's a lot you can do all in Seesaw. Here's how the Seesaw Activity Library works. Access the library by clicking the green Add button, then Assign Activity. You'll be taken to My Library. My library is where you store activities you might want to share with your class. Saving activities to my library does not assign the activity to students. It's also where you can create activities of your own. More on that in a second. Seesaw for Schools users will see the School and District tab. That's where you'll find activities curated by your school or district. All users can access free activities created by our community in the Community tab. You can search for activities by grade, by subject, search by keyword, or just browse. When you find an activity you like, you can save it to your My Library by clicking the heart icon up here. Now it's saved to My Library and ready to assign. Remember, saving the activity does not assign it to your class. You can even customize any part of the activity to meet your class's unique needs by clicking the three dots, then copy and edit activity. When you're ready to assign the activity, click the green assign button. Select the class or classes you want to assign the activity to, or you can share with select students in your class. Click Edit Students, Folders, Skills. In the Students tab, select the students you want to assign the activity to. Click the check mark, then click Assign. The assigned activity will show up in the Activities tab. Pause the video now, explore the community library, find an activity you like, save it to My Library, and assign it. Now the exciting stuff, create your own activities. The most effective Seesaw activities we've seen always include the following components. Your goal, include as many of these components as you can in your activities. Create an activity by heading to My Library. Remember, get there by clicking the green Add button, then Assign Activity. Once you're in My Library, click Create New Activity. Fill out your activity details, including a descriptive title, instructions. Notice here that I added a few emojis as well as a few words in between colons. Those are handy dandy seesaw icon shortcuts. When you type these shortcuts into your directions, they transform into icons when you click save. Click the link in the video description to learn more about icon shortcuts. You can also record voice instructions, which is great for young or diverse learners. Attach a multimedia example, such as an exemplar, instructional video, or other resource that helps students complete the activity. You can use any Seesaw tool to upload your example. When you attach an example, you'll see a preview here. You can also add a template for students to respond right on top of, like a graphic organizer or guiding questions. You can use all of Seesaw's tools to create your template. Seesaw for Schools and Seesaw Plus users can create multi-page templates that support dynamic, multi-step learning experiences. You'll see a preview when your template is attached. Save that activity and you're ready to assign. Pause the video now and create your first activity. A quick note about activity library limits. All teachers can assign as many activities to students as they wish. There's no limit to how many activities you can assign or students can complete. There are limits to how many activities you can store in my library at any given time. If you hit your limit, you can free up space by clicking the three dots on an activity to delete it from your library. Now let's take a look at what students experience when you assign activities. Activities show in the Activities tab in the order you assign them, with the most recent up first. There is no way to reorder activities at this time. To respond to an activity, students click Add Response. If no template is attached to the activity, students can use any Seesaw tool to create their post. If a template is attached, each student gets a fresh copy of the template to complete. Here, this template was created using the Note tool. 
Whatever template you attach to the activity will show for students. Once students have submitted their response, the activity disappears from their Activities tab. They're ready to complete the next one. Pause the video now. Still in your teacher account, pretend you're a student. Click on the Activities tab, click Add Response, complete the activity, and post to sample student. We have a few tips for keeping your activities organized. All your saved and created activities get stored in My Library. They show in the order they're saved or created, which means it can be kind of hard to find what you need quickly. Collections help you organize your activities so you can find them and assign them more easily. Remember, any activity or collection you create is always private to you. When you're in My Library, scroll to the bottom where you'll see My Collections. Create a new collection by typing the name and clicking Create. Organize activities that aren't in a collection yet by clicking Activities Not in a Collection. You'll see all the activities you need to organize. Click Organize. Select a collection or create a new collection. Once you organize activities into a collection, it's easy to find them and assign them. Simply click on the collection title under My Collections. And there's your collection. Any activity you have tagged to this collection will show here. Another way to add activities to collections is to click on that activity, click on the three dots, then click Add to Collection. Select the collection you want to add it to, and it's added. Keep in mind there are some limits. If you need to delete a collection, click on the collection, click the three dots, then click Delete. Don't worry, this will not delete the activities in the collection. When students complete activities, those activities disappear from their Activities tab. But those activities don't disappear from your Activity tab. To keep your activities organized, you can archive or delete old activities from your Activities tab. Simply click on the three dots on the activity and click Archive or Delete. If there are student responses, you'll be prompted to archive. Don't worry, when you archive an activity, student responses are not deleted. This just clears the activity from your tab. If no students have responded to the activity, then you'll be prompted to delete the activity. You can always go back to My Library and assign it again. All right, pause the video now. Create one or more collections, organize your activity, and give yourself a big high five for being an organizational superstar. You did it. You mastered the activities basics. Thanks for learning with us today. You can find even more trainings at web.seesaw.me training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.